All right, you ready to go? Okay. You staying, Teddy? Say hello, Sebastian. You feeling better this week? Who's a good boy? You are. He's a happy puppy. So here we are on Sunday. What are we at? 24th today? Of September. Pumpkin time. So check this out. These are pumpkins from our garden. And these are corn stalks from our garden. This is the first time we've ever been able to get enough corn stalks. They're, they're thin. We didn't get that many, but I'm enjoying it. I already got some mums going. Yeah, let's take a look. So, yes, it's uh, Sunday, 24th. Um, I think it's uh, a little after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. About 60 degrees. It is overcast. Getting a breeze every once in a while. Um, a little muggy, but mostly cool. Same thing yesterday. Very overcast. Um, we got more rain yesterday, too. So, doing a lot of stuff yesterday. Running around. Um, actually... Um, I can think of it yesterday running around. I think we uh, spotted six houses that had smoke coming out of their chimneys. People already starting up their stoves. So we have the butternut squash action here. We have uh, a guy back on the inside of the fence there. And we have doubles down there. Another little one starting over there. Uh, when I get around that side of the fence, I'll show that, but we got one on the inside of the fence. Nice jump. Very nice. Still marching out in the yard and still lots of new growth. So we have, that's a new one this week on the outside. And then just in there, you can see that one. I have been checking these guys and waiting for the stems to turn a little brownish. And I gave this one, the oldest one, the fingernail test. Uh, where'd you go, big boy? Oh, you're over here. Yeah, I gave that the fingernail test yesterday. It did not pass. It's still kind of soft. So we have a new flower to show off. Dee remembers planting it, but she can't remember what it's called. But isn't that pretty? It is a beautiful color. And there's one next to it here. It's a very cool little cone starting and the petals just growing straight up and then out. So those are neat. And if we can figure out what they're called, I'll type it in as I'm editing. But already a lot of sunflowers are starting to dry up and start going to seed, but there's still plenty. Plenty of beauties over here. Still have one straggler on this one. I was checking out the wisteria this year, seeing how far it's gone, and I realized that there's actually more Leatris back there that I hadn't seen. So I'm not sure if it just wasn't showing up with the um, all the color from the lilies and everything. But. Despite the weather, still got bees on the sunflowers. They've been really going at it. Pretty much everywhere I've been looking today, I've been seeing bees on things. Oh, uh, yes, so the beach plum. So let me draw your attention. We have a whole bunch of these uh, yellow tussock moth caterpillars on here. Spotted, but yeah, they are all over. Another one over here, up there, over there. And I also have a beach plum. I'll zoom in on it because now that's at full color. And down, where 
Is it? I gotta. Oh, it's below the leaf. There's another one there. And there's one over in here. So there's three good specimens. There was a fourth, and we tried that out. Um, we were walking around checking things out, and they, they're very tart. And they're not soft at all, like you, you know, any kind of plum or anything. It's almost crunchy like a vegetable. Uh, and I did want to show in here. Yes, there it is. So as I was walking around earlier and looking, I spotted this. I'm pretty positive this is a chrysalis here. What type of moth? Don't know. But. I'll be keeping an eye out for more. I'm sure we're going to get a bunch from these tussock moths here. But that particular one I'm not sure of. Uh, not much else to speak of down here. We're just uh, enjoying a lot of wild aster in the yard too. There's a whole bunch down through there. Letting that go natural was a great decision. Moving on to the hydrangea. There's uh, a lot of blush starting. You know this. It just seems like it's been a really short season for this. But seasons are as seasons go. I made a mental note to uh, point out that the black eyed Susans back here are still going strong for the most part. So that's some much night much needed color in the back here as everything's starting to peter out but so a couple of these little ones going i guess someone's feeling well enough to wander off again sebastian Come on. All right, so. Moving into the highlight here. Um, another, it's a, there's always a new surprise. Little tiny fuzzy sunflower here. Just noticed it yesterday. We did not plant any sunflowers over on the side at all. So that could have just been a stray seed that blew out. While I'm over here, I can take a look at the orphan beans. So there it is. And the other two down here. As you can see, I have a small pile of pumpkins. Uh, I was out yesterday morning picking them all and just stacked them all up here. And I'll pop in some pictures uh, because not only was Sebastian, but Misha was enjoying the pumpkins too. And uh, so, yeah, you can still tell that still weeping from the stems but look at just the size of the, the stems on that huge but that one was there so there's those three there's the four in front of the doorway this one was here so I counted yesterday there was nine ripe ones picked and there are four large green ones ready to go and there could very well be couple hidden in there that I haven't seen still checking out the dill um, haven't seen any caterpillars on there like some people are getting in their gardens but you have to keep an eye on the sweet potato it doesn't like it cool and we are getting cool nights now we are getting nights in the 40s and with days like today we're you know at most 60 you know we're probably still gonna get some days that will be hitting 70 but not that many so even with warm sun, that's uh, starting to be a losing coefficient for the veggies. Ah, look who decided to join us. Hi, where's that good boy? Yeah, he's a good boy. Well, we made, speaking of eggplant, we made eggplant parmesan last night, and it was excellent. I've never been much of a fan for eggplant parmesan in general because it doesn't really taste like much. This had real flavor to it. So, once again, a testament to how much better things are grown out of your own garden. 
you know, just like the all the vegetables, your lettuce, fancy lettuce, cute celery, all of it. What are you doing? You digging up? You mulching for me? Or uh, tilling, rather? Uh, D was just kind of giving some assistance to our sunflowers here because they've really been starting to fall over. Um, which again, I think has to do at least in part with the soil just being so soft. And then the good fertilizer, so they got really tall really fast. And then they, you know, maybe didn't strengthen as well between the weather and everything else. So maybe not as strong as some with the exception being, the very happy exception being the Mexican sunflowers. So this plant is taller than me, which is new for us with Mexican sunflowers. I mean, we only had them, was it last year or the year before? Um, and they didn't get this tall. So again, it could be the good fertilizer. They could just be really happy here, but this is a great patch. There's like uh, three, six, nine, nine or 10 individual plants there, but I just love that they, they're branching out with multiple heads. So over here too, some of the, the, the bigger ones did fall and break, you know, so we've been picking them for fresh, but these tall ones here, luckily they have the support of the uh, arbor there. And then you just kind of help them along with that. Gonna have to start picking these tomatoes and hoping for the best. Because again, the temperatures are just getting too cool for them. It's a shame because this plant's been pretty happy here. We're definitely going this way again next year. And we'll just get to it sooner to make sure it gets um, supported better. So yeah, like this big one here, they actually put some twine up there just to, to hold it because it's been wanting to, you know, it's got a very heavy head and it's, you know, it was growing up in that direction. And you can almost see that the base spine is a little thinner than up here. So I think that's just the way everybody started off wet. Then we got some good weather. So then we get the, the growth burst and then we had some more crappy weather again. I believe uh, I saw an article today that this year in the Northeast, we've only had three weekends that were absolutely rain free. The entire rest of spring, summer season, we've had rain at least at one point on the weekends. These guys here needed a lot of support too. They were Pretty much all of them were bent over. But what do you think, Happy Pumpkin? Hmm? Who's a good boy? You're a happy boy. You are. Stay. Right there. Stay. Here's your thumbnail. You did a good job. You did. You're a good boy. You got a dirty tongue. Would you like a treat for your dirty tongue? That'll be a nice taste here. Good boy. You want to just go check on the butternut squashes real quick? Okay. We'll go up here. Yeah. Still have some new growth coming in here. Haven't seen any flowering, you know, any of the female flowers taking anything. And I'm just letting them be. Letting them get some happy roots. And I'm sure, you know, as that composts over the winter, that'll be some more good stuff for the soil because there's a lot of soil repair to do in here. So, yeah, I'm um, gonna get the hose put up, just start doing some more cleanup in here, and just slowly picking, especially some of the um, frost sensitive crops. I don't wanna use the, the F word so soon, but you did good, you did. That's right, you get your treat coming in from the garden. Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. Um, but it, yeah, it's something we're going to have to worry about. The end of uh, September is not unheard of at all up here to get a frost. And we did get some, um, I think it's like an heirloom garlic yesterday at a farm stand because we're going to be planting garlic up there. I can tell that this new growth actually got a little bit bigger from last week on the Vinca vine. 
And Sebastian is sniffing out the leaf pile. Both he and Misha have been very interested. We got our other two cords delivered yesterday. Tarped it right away because the rain moved in. And uh, already the chipmunks have been running around there. So Misha's been hunting and stalking and Sebastian's been sniffing. So I'm going to see how much I can start getting to after work during the week. It's going to be good weather uh, for most of the week, I think. Figures, right? And um, yeah, so that's keep plugging away at that. Next weekend we do the chimney. And then we're almost ready for... For the winter, there's not much else to do other than check on the oil and the snow blower and probably get the plow on, make sure everything on there is all lubricated up and then start preparing the yard for plowing and stuff. So that's about it for this week. One more week to go in September. So I appreciate you sharing and I'm not sure if the other four pumpkins will even be starting to get some color by next week, but they might. Sebastian, come on. So there you go. Um, thanks again for watching and we'll talk next week. <laughs>